Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietschak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'm back in Dublin with some more awareness and refreshed energy after my holidays and I wanted to share with you a bit from a, a book that I read on my holidays and the book is The Power of Awareness by Neville. Neville Goddard is a very well-known uh, specialist in the area of manifestation and, and achieving our goals and it's also an amazing book that is highly recommended by Bob Proctor for those of us that are really serious students of the material of success psychology. And I wanted to share with you especially one chapter which, the, which discusses three elements of successful manifestation of our goals. So the chapter that I'm talking about is called Power of Assumption and Neville talks about psychology that is required to achieve our goals and he, he talks about three elements that need to happen for our goals to be achieved and he says uh, he says this all transformation begins with an intense burning desire to be the first step in the renewing of the mind is desire you must want to be different before you can begin to change yourself so the first step in every single goal is a desire and you might have uh, heard about this from think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill or from other studies of personal development but we always need to remember if we do not want to change deep down in your heart then nothing is going to make you do what needs to be done. You've got to find something that you deeply, deeply desire, whether this is a business of your dreams, the house of your dreams, working on uh, your own terms, doing what you love to do, or your soulmate. You've got to find something that you truly desire beyond anything else. And that's a requirement in order to start the process of manifestation and create something new in your reality. The second thing he says um, then you must make your future dream a present fact. You do this by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled. So this one is very uh, interesting one and it's quite challenging for majority of people. Uh, I mean, it was very challenging for me before I started studying with Bob and actually I was shown how to do this. But we need to implement inside of our subconscious mind our goal as present reality. So our subconscious mind works quite interestingly because it doesn't distinguish between what our physical reality right now is and what our imagination produces. So it believes in things that we imagine. And what we do in Thinking Into Results mentorship process, I teach my clients how to visualize their goals. And visualization is actually nothing new. It's been used by sports psychologists. You know, when, uh, when an athlete is trained to become extremely good athlete, they close their eyes and they visualize themselves finishing their run or do, winning the match, doing whatever they need to do in their subconscious mind. And what happens is when you visualize it, your mind accept it, accepts it. When you visualize your goal, your desired result over and over every single day, over a period of time, your mind accepts it as if it's already done. And especially when you um, understand how the subconscious mind is work, how the subconscious mind works, then you will do it every single day and watch how your level of belief in your goal expands. And this is when you start miracle, uh, start seeing miracles happening. This is when what we call law of attraction is starting to work. And the third, last but not least thing uh, that he says, um, there is one more thing, yeah, one more thing that he says that needs to be done. And this one for majority of people is very challenging. For me, it definitely was when I started studying this material and why I'm sharing this with you, because I think majority of people don't understand that element and it's very very important to understand it to be successful at manifesting your goals so he says then you must uh, make your future dream a present re present fact you do this by assuming the feeling of your wish fulfilled and then he continues by desiring to be other than what you are you can create an ideal of the person you want to be and assume that you are already that person so let me just share this one more time. 
Uh, by desiring to be other than what you are, you can create an ideal of the person you want to be and assume that you are already that person. If this assumption is persistent in until it becomes your dominant feeling, the attainment of your ideal is inevitable. So the attainment of your goal is inevitable. And I remember studying Bob's material, you know, that, that concept of you need to be someone before you can fulfill your goal. So before you can have, do, uh, and give something, that was always very challenging for me. And this is what we call our self-image. So if you want to uh, jumpstart towards your goals, you've got to start thinking and behaving like the person who accomplished your goals already. Now, that's not a typical thing that you would see on YouTube or read uh, in, in some uh, books on personal development. Maybe you do, but I mean, I truly didn't understand that concept. And it's something that I really fell in love with. How to start thinking, how to lift my thinking frequency and how to start getting ideas of the person that already accomplished my goals, even though I'm not there yet. And the quickest way is by creating your self-image, your self-image script of thinking, behaving, and becoming that person that would naturally accomplish your goals. So if you're someone who is very uh, serious about your goals and you really want to move forward to achieving those, you definitely want to understand how to create your own self-image and then how to insert it in your subconscious mind so that your mind starts operating on the frequency of that self-image. So in other words, how to start thinking and behaving and making decisions from the from becoming that new person, that version of yourself that already achieved your goals. Now, if this is something that interests you and if you're serious about your goals, I think it should interest you, then uh, I've mentioned already in my past couple of videos, I'm doing something truly special Special this month guys and I'm totally on fire especially after reading this phenomenal book again on the um, on the airplane I really want to share with you this concept of self-image and how you can move towards your goals ten times faster because if you really think about it if you start operating at the thoughts of the person that has accomplished your goals already even if you don't have those goals yet you will start receiving ideas at that level and that I think is necessary for every person who is serious about quantum leaps in their results. It's just making your path a lot quicker. So you can jumpstart to the thinking processes that the that you would have if you if you were actually that person that accomplished your goals. So if that interests you, guys, I would love to first of all recommend to get this book. It's called Power the Power of Awareness. And uh, the specific uh, one here is actually a Tarcher Cornerstone Editions. Bob told us to get that one specifically. So if you really want to follow his recommendations, do that. And it's written by Neville. You can get it on Amazon and make sure that it's the one with red uh, bottom. Uh, here at the bottom of the cover. It's really phenomenal. It is definitely, I would highly uh, suggest this to those of you that already are into personal development for a while and you want to deepen your awareness and deepen your understanding of the mind. It's phenomenal. And Neville is all about feeling, creating a feeling of your goal fulfilled and that psychology of how to bypass your subconscious mind and really implement that goal at the depth of your subconscious. So if you guys are interested in this topic definitely get that book read it implement it and also feel free to join me for the event on self-image this Wednesday here in Dublin or a webinar that is happening Wednesday week uh, online you will not regret I mean this is going to be phenomenal piece of information how you can design that self-image of you becoming the person that has accomplished your goals and then step-by-step -step process to actually implement Implement that self-image because it's not enough to just know about it you've got to internalize it and you've got to start making decisions and taking actions and thinking from that point that's when you change what we call frequency and you move towards your goals 10 times faster so I hope you enjoyed that piece of awareness and I hope you will get the book and I hope you will visit us at the webinar or event have a phenomenal week and take care guys